We're going to go out to Big Buddha right now at Sully Community College because we've got a cool school of the week on this Wednesday. Why can't it be a college, huh, B? Well, it is a college because all other schools are out. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? They're on Thanksgiving break, those lucky kids. I'm not... I'm not saying that they won by default. <laughs> right, yeah. You had no, no, no place no. else to go. You were going to do them anyway. <laughs> it was the only place with people this morning, huh? Dan, you know, uh, when I was a kid, I ran in a race. And wow. I came in third. Guess how many people ran in the race? Uh, three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> it's you were still setting third. it up. Yep. <laughs> you still got a trophy or a no, ribbon. No, actually, I, I just got a high five. Did you? We, well, that's something. We, we got to, yeah, I can't take that anywhere, though. Hey, I'm just stoked <laughs> if I finish a race. I uh, know we're, we're hanging out. Um, you know, it is the day before Thanksgiving, so, you know, I thought, you know what, let's let's combine the two things together, cool school and Thanksgiving. So that's where we're hanging out. See the Culinary Institute, Salt Lake Community College. They're going to share some of their secrets, not all of their secrets, because these guys pay tuition, so <laughs> they can't share all of their secrets. But if you're looking for some last-minute help, whether it's table setting, whether it's desserts, whether it's your turkey, the students here at Salt Lake Community College Culinary Arts Program are going to hook us up this morning. And Dan, I am going to roll my sleeves up. I am getting ready to eat. I mean, to work <laughs> with these students. You're going to get dirty, huh? One way or the other. <laughs> One way or the other, we're going to get dirty. Yes, that's exactly right. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We'll break down the program. We'll give you some tips, some tricks, but not all of the secrets. And all remember, right? eating tomorrow is a race. Yes, eating tomorrow is a race <laughs> and a marathon. Get all the in most. one. I don't think you're going to come in third either. My money's on you. Nope. If you're not first, you're last. That's how I always say it. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Bye, guys. See you, B. Since it's Wednesday, it's time to visit our cool school of the week, and Big Buddha is at the Salt Lake Community College. These are our older kids. That's right. <laughs> Going to school to get some education. <laughs> <laughs> And they're also preparing for the workforce. Uh, we're here with Andreas. Uh, we're going to talk about the program. So uh, congratulations, first and foremost, on being our Cool School of the Week. Give, give us an idea what the program is about. You know, what does it entail? Uh, what are these students coming here to learn, and what, what are their hopes? Well, the students we got here, they're really passionate, and you'll see that later in the segments that you're going to be doing. We've got a little over 300 students enrolled in the program. We teach them everything from the very basics on up to what they call garmage, which is the really fine, fancy stuff that you see in the magazines. Um, they compete here. We have competition classes. In the summer, we do gardens outside. We grow herbs that they use in the kitchens. Um, the group you'll see today, <clears throat> it's actually a really motivated group. The uh, culinary club was started by one of our graduate students who's still here shepherding the whole program uh, as far as the culinary club itself. She took it upon herself to get students enrolled into the, uh, the culinary club. Uh, she worked with one of the faculty members who's standing behind us. Um, he put together the... Uh, the paperwork to get the charter done and uh, you're going to see the probably the most enthusiastic students here showing people what you can do alternatively for thanksgiving and how to repurpose your leftovers once uh, you've had thanksgiving and uh, they put all this together on their own are they just doing this for a grade or are they getting ready to, to get into the workforce uh, they are going to be going into the workforce some are uh, ready to step out some are still in the program uh, it's a two-year program um, they're very creative, they're very dedicated. The, the passion, you will see it. I mean, the smiling faces, the energy that goes into this, it is awesome. We, we spend right, right now, I don't really see a lot of energy, but you know, we have to take his word for it. Well, well, I, I think they, they, when, they, when they cook, that's when you'll see the energy, because right now, I don't see no energy right now, but, but, but don't, you'll don't. Taste it. We will prove it, right? We'll you prove it. Okay, it. we will taste it. Yeah. Coming up next, appetizers. Uh, get it started. Thanks, yes. B. There may be some smoke out where Big Buddha is. I don't know if there's, you know, there should be. He's in the kitchen right now at the Salt Lake Community College for um, students there. And they're learning, I guess these are future chefs, B, so they probably shouldn't have a lot of smoke. Don't burn anything. Uh, smoke happens. <laughs> and Andreas was not kidding. I feel the energy, man. I am booming to the top. What it's did crazy. you eat? <laughs> or what did You're you leading the charge. Did you just have one of those five-hour energy drinks? Oh, wow. He just blew it all out. <laughs> <laughs> he was so excited to blow up he, he drained the system. All right, we've got him back up. Hey, hey. B, what happened out there? Okay, you we haven't moved, dry, so maybe huh? somebody powered up over us. Yeah, I don't Stop know. Stop it, whoever it is. All right, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do appetizers right now. Uh, we're going to break it up into three steps. We'll start over here. Your name and your appetizer. My name is Michelle, and my appetizer is a salami wrap. All right, step one. 
Step one is just lay out your salami and cut your cream cheese into slices. So you're just going to do three quick slices. Okay. And lay it on your salami. All right, that's step one. Over here, your name and your appetizer. Hi, I'm Sarah Lowe. My appetizer is a stuffed spinach mushroom. And what you're going to do is you're going to mix your all of your wet ingredients in this bowl, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Notice how she's vague because she doesn't want to give away her family recipe. Wet <laughs> ingredients, what they are, I don't know. Cream cheese, sour cream, <laughs> Parmesan cheese, salt All right, and pepper. Dang it, she gave it up. All right, step one over here, your name and your, your appetizer. I am Gary, and I am doing a cranberry salsa. And basically, you're going to start with the cranberries. You're going to add uh, about a quarter cup of water, okay. quarter cup of sugar, um, boil them until they pop, and uh, that's step one. All right, step one. Let's go over here. Step two. Okay. So step two, you're just gonna lay your pickles. These are just baby dill pickles. You okay. wanna slice into strips, lay them right on top of the cream cheese. Is it important to be uniform? No, you okay. don't have to so be So you uniform. can cut them any shape you any want? Any shape you want, okay. as long All as right. they fit. All right, step two. Okay, so I just chopped up my artichoke hearts and my uh, spinach is over here. It's gonna go in a saute pan. And then you've stemmed your mushrooms and put the stems of the mushrooms in here also, and you're gonna saute this up. And next you're gonna mix it in with this. Okay, 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 step two. Step two is you're basically going to take your onions, red peppers. You have not moved an inch since I was here last. Step one and step two are pretty close together. They are. They are. <laughs> Everything coincides, right? Okay, all right, all right. Uh, you're going to take all these ingredients, yellow bell peppers. You're going to saute them for about two or three minutes. And then you're just going to uh, add the uh, cranberries in with uh, the sauteed ingredients. Step two. Okay, all right. Really quick, really quick, because we're, we're out of time. Step three. Step three, you're just going to roll. Uh -huh. Really fast, take a toothpick and stick it in. Uh -huh. And you're going to come out with this. Right Ta -da. Ta -da. Nice job, nice job. All right, all right, right here. Okay, so next, once these are all mixed up, you're going to put them inside of your mushrooms. And then this amazing dish is going to come out. You're going to put it in an oven. An oven at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes, and they'll be perfectly browned. All right, and step, last, last step three, last step three. Last step, number three, you're going to go ahead and bake some pita chips, cut uh -huh. them into uh, either quarters, a uh, little bit of olive oil, and... Uh, Finish it off. Let me see the finished dish. That's it, right that, there. Oh, that's it? That's the dish. That's it. He hasn't done anything. Like, the girls were moving, and he, like, he hey, just he, stood there. He planned ahead. That's how I do it. He planned ahead. I just bought it in the jar. <laughs> Not poured it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, but I'm just kidding. We got more coming yeah, back. Make some noise, in everybody in the kitchen. Right now, we want to talk about some food, you know, because it's breakfast time. And Big Buddha's hanging out at the Salt Lake Community College, and I think he's still in the kitchen. Well, it's a good food week. This whole week should be a good food it's week. It's all week. about food. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right, guys. We're going to play a game, one of our favorite games on Good Day Utah. It's called The Next Game. So we have five chefs, uh, and they're going to be uh, making side dishes for your Thanksgiving next. dinner. They're going to try to get in as much as they can. <laughs> you say next, I move into the next person until we come back. Uh, okay, we're going to next them until they're finished. Does that make sense? Next. All right, you guys, but you guys got to say next out loud so I can hear you. Ready, Whoa. set, <laughs> go. Okay, we're making a bodek. It's a play off uh, spanakopita. Basically what it is, you're taking your uh, prepackaged phyllo dough. You're going to take some melted butter and a brush. You're going to brush your pan on the very bottom. You're going to take out two of the layers of the phyllo dough. You're going to put it on top. You're going to keep repeating that. Uh, layer next. next. Layer. If he's just going to repeat it. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Allie. I'm making a green bean casserole. So I've got my green beans here cut and blanched and ready. And my dressing, which is olive oil, balsamic vinegar, lemon juice, and brown sugar. And I've also got some nice cut in half cherry tomatoes here and some almonds. Mm -hmm. And basically, you mm. just put it all in a bowl and mix it. Carrie did one of those last like night. So. so next. 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 Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm going to do a spicy sweet potato mashed potatoes. So I have my sweet potatoes already cooked until they're just soft. You're going to put them in any kind of a blender you have, even a mixer will work. Add some brown sugar, a little Yum. bit of butter. Normally that would be me, brown sugar, but in this case, real <laughs> Don't brown put sugar. Your hand in there, yeah. brown I'm sugar. not putting my hand in there. No. Every no. morning. Add some cumin. Next. My name's Alejandro. I'm making a Brussels sprouts salad. Oh, Brussels so sprouts. So first we next. cut up the pancetta. Okay. <laughs> wow, really? Next already? That is that crazy. That sounds good. Let him go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm making rolls. You get warm milk, sprinkle yeast. Five minutes, add eggs, um, butter, salt, and sugar. See how fast you made her move, Dan, because you next him so fast? <laughs> <laughs> that is messed up. It's Brussels sprouts, man. Yeah, follow until you form All right, form let's dough. see your finished product. What does it look like? Let's see it. Get, get, let me see yours. That's it. Okay, next. But but you gotta cook them though. You gotta cook there's them. Yeah, yeah. Next. All right. Oh, there's nobody Alejandro. next. We're gonna go back to Alejandro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna just linger here for a little bit because you next him too okay. soon. Good. Are you single? 
Yes. Do you want to get married? No, no, no I'm not married. I'm not asking oh. him. Sorry, sorry, bro. No. All right, all right. You're finished. You're finished. Dish. Finished. Dish is right here. You can just garnish with the little uh, chives on the top, and there you go. Very yeah. good. What's that? All right, the green bean salad, potatoes. and I garnish it with some Parmesan cheese. Gary. And this is the Birek finished product. A couple of pine nuts on top. Voila. Ooh, and if that doesn't that blow you really away, good. he can also carve some ice into the beautiful sculptures. That's how we do it. Give yourselves a round of applause. Nice job, everybody. Woohoo! That's how we do it. Well done. Bye, guys. Thanks. I'm kind of taking a different spin on cool school today. We're going like with the it. older kids this time. The ones that have already gone to school, now they're going to another school. Although the funny thing is, is now that we're getting older, they look really they're young. Still, they're still kids. They're still kids. Yeah, Big Boot is out at Salt Lake Community College today. He's doing a cool school where they are cooking. It's a culinary school, right, B? Dan, do you hear that song? That song is Carrie's excuse every time she messes something up in the kitchen. Kevin asks her, why'd you, why'd you burn the turkey? Just blame it on the baguette. <laughs> and she does that yep. little dance. That's, she, she, well, it's it's a little more it's a little more better than my moves. The, those are the things like flaming on the buggy. Oh no, I think you've got the moves. It's kind of like in your face. Sarah, you have any moves? Do you have any moves? Do you have any? No. She doesn't have moves. All right, all right. She said, talk to the hands. Talk to the hands. Good for her. All right. Uh, leftovers. What what do you like to do with leftovers? Um, I love to do a lot of things with leftovers. We brought today um, a bunch of things. We have gravy, we have turkey, we have possibly some potatoes that you've used. Um, and we're going to bring all of that together into a pot pie. So you can make a whole other meal for your entire family with all of these great leftovers. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all of our prep stuff. We sauteed some uh -huh. onions just for you. Just put it in there, right? You got peas. You got leftovers. You got leftover prayer carrots. Maybe a little bit of celery. Yep. Some burnt stuff. potatoes from Kerry. Burnt potatoes. Yep. <laughs> and then we also have some gravy. So you're going to add your gravy in also. Yeah. You can tell it's real because it came out in a plop. <laughs> yep. Nice and thick. A right. little bit of salt and pepper. Then you cook it on the stove for how long? And you're going to cook it on the stove until all of your vegetables are just soft enough. Uh -huh. So I'd say like 15, maybe 20 minutes max. Um, all of your stuff is already probably pre-cooked. You put it in the pie shell, then you would cover it. And how, how, how much time do you put it in the oven and how, how hot? You're going to put it at 425 for about a half an hour until it starts to bubble over and that crust gets nice and brown. Okay. Uh, here's something else. If you want to change up a little bit, if pie Hot pie is not your style. Maybe uh, enchiladas? Yes. What are these? Is this called enchiladas? They are. They're right. green enchiladas. We can use the leftover turkey. Since I hate to do this to you. We got 10 seconds. You're going to show us speed cooking. Ready? Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. That's why he's one of the top he students. Got the whole and chicka 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 Oh, That's wow. how you do it. it in 10 seconds. Wow. Wow. That's how you do it. Now, now, Sarah said she doesn't have any moves. I want to ask you, as a, a brother to brother, what kind of moves do you have in the kitchen? Do you have any? Come on, let's see it. Oh, chopping. Oh, we got a chopping dance. My bad. Chopping. Oh, yeah. And then stir. You've been schooled at our cool school. All right. We're, <laughs> we're going to be back with more kitchen moves, as Sarah calls them, coming up. Nice job, brother. Right there. Making Man. it with love. <laughs> Thanks, B. I, I don't even know if that's <laughs> right now. That's great. Bye, guys. All right, we're going to go out to Big Buddha, who is talking about Thanksgiving meals right now at our cool school of the week. We kind of paired the culinary college out there at the Salt Lake Community College hey. for our cool school. What's up, B? Hey, Dan, Kerry, did, did Scott Rinsall say, see a ship blow up, or did he say something else? Yeah, he was talking about the thing that is in the water. <laughs> okay, ship. okay. I, yeah. Well, some things Floats. are in the water, too. It yeah. sounds like what we're talking Big about. Big boat. Okay, <laughs> Big ship. Boat. Ship. ship. Tell him to enunciate his peas, because it mm -hmm. sounded like he swore right there. All right. No, You're he mind. wouldn't do that. Uh, we're, <laughs> mind. we're with Davina and Shannon. They're going to show us a, a quick dessert here. What, what do you got, girl? We're making pavlova. Okay. And so it's basically meringue and... You take the meringue, cover it with whipped cream. Uh huh. You had me at whipped cream, girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's how easy it is. Look at that. Yeah. Now, when you're making desserts, how important it is, is how equally important is presentation? It's very important because, you know, everyone wants to eat something pretty. If it right. doesn't look very good, it's not appetizing. You eat with your eyes, right? You do, actually. Okay. So then you take stuffed apple or um, caramelized apples. Yep. And you just cover them there. Put a meringue Ooh. on top. 
You're being way too lenient with the whipped cream, by the way. <laughs> but it is your dessert. It is your dessert. always, always extra whipped okay. cream. All right. <laughs> We're going to head over to Rich and see what he's doing. Finish that up, ladies. Rich, what do you got, bro? Well, let's see. I got a pen in this morning with a nice uh, maple cream to go on okay. top. Seems and like you're utilizing a lot of the uh, fall flavors. Oh, yes. It's a nice, nice quick dish. Okay. With caramelized almonds to go with it. What is that? Is this, it, it looks like a texture of a flan. Is that, is that what I'm thinking? It's yeah, correct. yeah, that's correct. Put a little few there. And now let's go with the little... Uh, What's that? This is chocolate. Chocolate. It's nice. Can't go wrong with chocolate, man. Oh, no. Look at that. All right, well, you finished the dish up. We're going to go over and check on the girls. How are we doing over here, ladies? Good. Ooh, just... you put some brown sugar on there. Uh, we've got cinnamon, white sugar, and a dusting of chocolate. And you're done. And it's all set. Voila. Very nice. Well, let's, let's fist bump because you guys are cooking still and you guys, you guys got gloves <laughs> on. All right, Rich, how are we doing over here? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Yep. Uh, I'm trying to make some intricate designs there, bud. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Make it pretty. Oh, yes. That's, all, that's the whole thing, presentation. And then put a little... I noticed you got some whipped cream here. Does that go on top of the dessert? Yes, it does. It, okay, let's it goes finish right it on. on this one right here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And there we go. That's how we do it. I'm going to bring it over here so we can put the two dishes together. Right in front of the paper towel, yeah. <laughs> nice job, Buddha. Yeah, right there. That's yeah. how we do it. I know. It's so appealing. Hey, by it's the so way, appealing. me. Very good. Yes. When we want to swear on the show, we just use Dan's name. Like, that looks so Dan good. That is Dan good. Yes. <laughs> Gosh, Dan it. You guys are taking it in vain. I don't like it. <laughs> well, we're out of Dan time. Yeah. All right, back to you in the studio. All right, Dan. <laughs> All right. Say goodbye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Man, that looks so good out there. This is a big week for food. <laughs> big Buddha hanging out at Salt Lake Community College. He's with the students there that are chefs in the making, and we've been making all sorts of yummy, delicious meals. We're really, we're bummed that we're back here, B. <laughs> You're definitely going to be hungry after after today's no, we're already uh, hungry. morning show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, guys, uh, we're also featuring things that go along with the food. The food has to taste delicious. It has to be great. It has to look great, but also you have to set the tone. So I want to take a look really quick. Plain table. That's usually how we do it at Dan's house, right there. That's how we do it. You just but the students here want to show you there. how you can add, how you can add to it. Ready, set, set the table. All right. Oh, it's just more Watch how they work. Up. Now, as they work, we're going to talk with Cheryl. Cheryl, now, now what do you do? I am the adjunct professor of wine education studies. I teach the foundation wine course and the advanced French wines and cheese course and food and beverage service. Okay. So let's talk about this. How, how important is it? How, does it really add that much more to uh, whether it's a dinner party, whether it's a Thanksgiving dinner, to set the table? Presentation is everything. It's really a welcoming aspect of your table and of your whole evening, and it welcomes your guests in a much better way to have something set up in a very elegant way. Um, right is there a name for this setup? Uh, is it standard? Formal. Norm formal. Formal. Okay. Mm -hmm. now, is there a right or wrong way to do it, or as long as it looks nice, it's okay? Well, I like a, a right way to do it would be having the silverware in the right place, the glasses in the right place, and having the right glasses for the right types of wines and beverages that you're serving. Okay. Now, now for the utensils, let's educate everybody at home. Uh, let's talk about how, if you're going to do a setting, where should the forks go, where should the spoons go, that kind of stuff. Educate us real quick. So your salad fork on the uh, on the outside, you're, you're eating from the out to the in. Oh, okay. So your salad and your soup and your your main course fork and your knife. This is your dessert spoon and a butter knife on a little plate. And then for your glasses, we have a champagne cla glass or a sparkling wine okay. glass, red wine glass, white wine glass, or you can use that for water right. and a wine glass. So, so basically what I heard, guys, A+. plus. She gave you guys an A+. Plus. Yeah! <laughs> We're going to come back and we're going to pair those foods that we created earlier with some wines that Cheryl brought. No, you can't get any, though, Carrie. It's just for <laughs> show. <laughs> Off limits. Give yourselves a round of applause. Nice job, guys. Woohoo! Yeah, I want to That's know where how the we do it goes. Here. Put the plastic forks. <laughs> I've just had some water chestnuts wrapped in bacon. It's pretty good with something on top of it. Delicious. Something delicious, wrapped yeah. in deliciousness. Even the, the uh, skewer. Uh-huh. Had some sauce You're on. You're not it. supposed to so eat I that. Ate that too. <laughs>
I figure I'm mean, just fiber. <laughs> Let's go out to you. Buddha. I bet that's a big no-no out there. You do not eat the toothpicks that the hors d'oeuvres are on. You don't eat that? Right, Bean? You just, well, after you eat it, you use the toothpick. Oh, that's, that's, that's what for. you do, yeah. Because it comes yeah. from a plant. I mean, it's plant-based food. Sure, Dan. I, I, well, that's how you roll at your house? That's, that's fine. <laughs> um, Hurts some on people the way roll down. differently. You know, we're all different here. We all have different right. tastes. Uh, Cheryl here is going to educate us on how to pair some wines and some uh, adult beverages, if you will, with some of the great food that our students here uh, cooked earlier with us. Now, is this something you do on occasion? Uh, do you teach a class for this? Yes, I teach the foundation wine education class here and also the advanced French wines class through the French Wine Society. Can anybody join the class if they're watching at home and say, I want to take a class like How do they sign up for that? You can sign up through Salt Lake Community College. Okay, let's, let's get to work. Let's start over here on our far right. What do we got? All right, so for our appetizers, we have a Premier Boule. This comes from Limou, France. This is a sparkling wine that actually predates Dom Perignon by 150 years. It's the first sparkling wine that was made. 1531, they started making sparkling wines in the Languedoc Roussillon. Okay. This will go with every single appetizer you can possibly want. What do you got here? This is uh, Emilio Lustau Sherry. I like to put that in the gravy, in the stuffing, in the butternut squash soup, any other cream-based soups, Caesar salad is really a beautiful fall welcoming drink. Is there anything you can't put it in? No. <laughs> <laughs> I like your style. All right, what do we got here? <laughs> this uh, first one is the St. Mark Saint Martin de la Garrigue, and this comes from, it's a dry rosé with Sanso and Grenache. It comes from the Languedoc Roussillon. Very dry, and it goes with all of your side dishes. Um, can go with actually the whole meal. Okay. It's a really beautiful wine. And the next one is a Coteau de Provence, and this is uh, Commanderie de Bergamon. And this is from Provence, very, very dry rosé. Really nice because it's low tannin, really fruity. The next two are Beaujolais from France also. And the first one is the Nouveau Beaujolais, so be the first on your block to have the 2012 vintage. Wow. And this is all 100% Gamay from the De Popla family. All right, now they're both the same. Let's jump over here, because uh, I, I want to make sure we get these two in. What about these last two here? So this, these are dessert wines. The first one is Madeira, and Madeira comes from Portugal. And uh, that can go with your, your apple pie and your pumpkin pie. Uh -huh. The next one is a Banuel Rimage. It's a... Um, um, from Languedoc Roussillon, it's a Vendu Naturel. It's a fortified wine, kind of like port. Serve that with your chocolate desserts, with your mincemeat pies, awesome. or any kind of really rich dessert. If you'd like to be knowledgeable, like how Cheryl is, probably takes more than just one class. Sign up for a class, and she can edumacate you on all the different pairings for one. Yes, I said edumacate. Yes, I did that on purpose. Uh, for those of you who are not uh, partakers of adult beverages, it's really easy. Diet Coke. All right. Back to you guys in the studio. We're going to wrap things up with our students. Make some noise for Cheryl. Nice job. Woo! Yeah, baby. Woohoo! It's all about the food, really. We've been talking about it so much over the last couple of days. It's time to just do it. <laughs> Big Food is hanging out at our cool school of the week today. He's at Salt Lake Community College. And they are our cool school. They've been cooking all morning. It's kind of what they do because they're culinary students, B. It's it's an amazing program, Dan. We've only been here for three hours, but already I can tell it's an awesome, it's a, it's a wonderful program. Uh, give yourself a round of applause, guys. Nice job. Way to show off the program. Uh, but let's uh, thank some people that have helped us out this morning. We'll start first over here to my left, Cheryl, uh, pairing up the wines. This is a class that you give, as you offer. People can sign up. How? Yes, uh, at Salt Lake Community College. And you can take it through audit, or you can take it through community ed. You can take it for credit, for three credits. You can learn how to drink wine. Now, what if what if you, you're not a student? Can you come off the street and say, you know what, I'm hosting this great big party, and i, I got to learn this stuff. Can, can they do that? Yes, and they can call me through Wasatch Academy of Wine or the Salt Lake Community College Culinary Institute. Okay, well, thank you so much again. Give, give, give Cheryl a round of applause. That was really good. Yeah. All right, Andreas, let's let's talk about the program. What are there might be some parents and students watching saying, you know what, I think that be might be more my style. I want to I want to join that program. Well, you had to you had to admit that what's sitting in front of us speaks for the program itself. The energy, like I mentioned early in the program, this is what these guys put up with the energy that they have. Uh, they get it through the instructors, uh, through the facilities we have here. We have a really well organized program. It's structured in that you start with basics and you move on through advanced, and it's reflected in what they do here. You saw how quickly they can do it. Next 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 these guys are good 
I think you guys did an awesome job. And uh, where do we it. go for more information? Uh, you can go to Salt Lake Community College. It's uh, www.slcc.edu, uh, mm -hmm. and you go to the A to Z index. Look at Culinary Department, and you can find us there. Gives you everything. Uh, you can also, if you want to enroll, go to Get Started, and it gives you all the steps on how to enroll in the program. And uh, you'll be a part of us. Sounds good. So uh, we're going to be back here for live at 11. But for now, from all of us here at the Salt Lake Community College Culinary Arts Program and Cheryl, we just want to say one, two, three. Happy Thanksgiving! Bye guys. Right back at you. Bye, Thanks, Bye guys. guys. Well, you know, we're, we've been talking about food, thinking about food for days now. Tomorrow, from the almost today. Check it out. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, obviously, you know that tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so uh, I thought we'd get some tips, some help on how to, you know, put those normal things up here. Right, right now they're down here. If you just pour out ranch dressing, uh, sour cream, and onion, it's right here. But we want to take it to the Salt Lake Community College Culinary Arts level, right here, to a whole nother level. That's what we want to do. All right. All right. Hi, what's your name? Michelle. Michelle, uh, introduce your, your crew here. Who do we got? Um, I got Sarah and then John. They're kind of my little helpers. All right. So what are we doing this morning? We are going to take um, some leftovers that you'll have in your fridge okay. and make a blue cheese bacon dressing, like a salad dressing. How do you do it? So we're going to have some sour cream. Okay. Sour Everyone's cream. got sour cream you're going to add a little bit in a bowl depending on how much you want to make uh -huh. and of course just yogurt um, and if you don't have plain yogurt you can use butter like buttermilk buttercream okay. something like okay. that you're going to add a little bit of yogurt to that all right and you're just going to kind of mix nice it let me nice move this out of the way so we can see the camera there you go there we go okay, okay. And then you're going to add some Worcestershire sauce. What, what's Sarah working on over here? Sarah's gonna, is doing me some chives yeah. to go in this and also some the bacon. And don't worry, we always mess up the name of that sauce. We just call it W sauce. <laughs> My kids just say, can you just get the W sauce? Yeah. You probably should have just yeah. said that. Wawa sauce. Yeah, so you're going to do that? Synonymous. You're going to add a little... Get too close to the W, right? <laughs> w sauce. Yes, yes. Okay, we're going to add a little salt and pepper in there. Okay. Here. okay. And then, of course, you're going to take it and then you're going to add the most favorite part, is your blue cheese. Blue cheese. If you have it on your cheese oh, trays. Oh, it looks delicious. It smells delicious, it's too. awesome. And just crumble it up. You can do big chunks if you want big chunks. We'll, bring the, we'll have the finished item when we come back, along with something really, really different that you've probably never seen at Thanksgiving dinner. Well, at least I haven't because, well, I'm Polynesian. We don't celebrate Thanksgiving. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll have it finished up for you. We're going to do something else. Say goodbye, guys. Big Buddha hanging out at Salt Lake Community College. They're doing all sorts of really clever and creative things too with food today. He's there for the culinary school. Are they doing turt twinkies? Hey guys, welcome back. Here's that dip that we talked about. Finish. Let's let's take let's take a quick taste. Oh, that's going to my house. Yep. <laughs> All right, here's something else we're doing. All right, Sarah, how you doing? Great, how are you? What are we doing here? All right, this is uh, things you can do with the cranberry sauce. We have some cranberries already popped and ready to go. Right. We're going to pour them over here. Now, do you want to use leftover cranberries, or this is, these are fresh cranberries? You can use either one. If you have leftover cranberry sauce and you want to give it a little a bit of a kick for your leftovers, you can do that, too. So we have this right here. We're going to add a little bit of flavoring um, that's going to light up. That's fire. your kind of flavoring, Carrie. Uh -huh. Spiritual flavoring. Okay, and then we're going to light this on fire right here. If it'll go. Come on. <laughs> you need more flavoring. <laughs> I think you need more flavoring. <laughs> it never works on TV the way we want it to. I know. All right, I know. here we go. Here we go. Hold Flame on. on. <laughs> wait, wait. Work. Is this? Wait, maybe this is just water. <laughs> no, it smells like orange. Smells oh. like orange. All right. Well, doesn't want to light. All right. I'll be the flames. Are you gonna do that? There we go. Okay. Okay. Normally it flames up. Normally it would flame up. I don't know why it doesn't want to flame up. Uh, Carrie's really excited. You know why? Why? Because the flavoring hasn't burned off. Yeah, baby. Woo! This is what we're going to do. We're finish it off. All right. What are we doing here, Alex? Where these are three different things that you can use the cranberry sauce for. So you can use, pour it over turkey. We have some pears, and we're getting some ice cream. All right. That you can go ahead and just Let's pour it over. Let's put some over the top. Let's put some over the top there, man. Yeah. Right. Oh, looks good. So you can use it for a main course, and it looks like you can use it as a dessert as well. As a dessert is very good as a dessert. All right. I know we're running out of time. I know tomorrow's Thanksgiving, but I'm gonna ask both of you right now. Uh, what's uh, what's one thing that you're both uh, grateful for, thankful for? 
uh, for getting a good education here in school okay. and everything I'm learning. <laughs> Sarah, what are you thankful for? Um, I'm thankful for having a really wonderful husband right now who's supporting me through culinary school. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing some tips and uh, tricks of the trade. I want to thank everybody here at the culinary program. Thanks, guys. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Back to you guys in the studio. Woo! <laughs> Big Buddha's all excited. I don't know what that is. I think he's been... I think I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>